Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and today in the short and quick tutorial, I will show you how we can make particles follow curve in Blender easily. So hope you will find this tutorial useful. So without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.5. Nice. So first of all, let's clear this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's add our curve. So here you can add curve from this Bezier curve or anything or else you can use this curve spirals. In order to get this curve spirals, go to this edit preferences and in add-ons look for extra just such as extra and enable this extra curve option so by default this will be unchecked enable it and save those preferences now come to this add options curve and from this curve spiral select this arc median so in options of this let's increase the height a bit so here i will increase the height here and turns i will add few turns let's reduce the height okay so this is fine and let's increase the radius here okay fine so now let's move on to this object mode so now here i want the particles to follow the curve so let's add uv sphere so go to this add mesh select this uv sphere place the uv sphere at the starting of this curve reduce the scaling if required okay so after that let's apply the scaling option now being selected this UV sphere, come to this particle properties and click on this plus icon to add particles. So now if I play this, we got the particles emptying from sphere. So here my timeline is of 250 frames. So I will make the end frame like 250 and the lifetime, let it be 250 only and life randomness if you want to give, you can give. So let's play this once again. Now the particles are falling down. So in order to make these particles follow the curve, we need to select the curve first come to this physics property and add force field and from type change this to curve guide so now if i play this you can see these particles are following the curve so in this way we can make the particles follow a curve path in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye